Welcome back to Michael Wagaman Golf and part two of our Rustic Canyon Front Tee Challenge. After hitting my tee shot left and losing it, I had to take a drop, so this starts with the approach. And then we move on to the green, where we had a little uh, mishap with the camera. So we get some Benny Hill putting at the Batman angle. All right, here we go. It's uh, hole number 12 at Rustic. We're going to do one club. I don't know what's Aaron taking. Seven iron. The tin cup. I haven't decided yet. Josh, what are you taking? I might do a four iron. Four iron. Avery? Four hybrid. Four hybrid, okay. Four trouble, whatever you want to call it's it. It's four trouble, yeah. It's That's playing 221. So yeah. super short, and we're going to see how this goes. That did, that did not go well. That was a fat four iron for me. Josh pulled his four iron left in the bunker. Avery and uh, Aaron are looking pretty in the middle of the fairway, but uh, I'm in the fairway, but it's just gonna be an odd shot for a four iron. Uh, I found out I hit my seven iron just as far as uh, Archer's four. <laughs> it, it happens, it's you know, not, not usually uh, an occurrence, but you know, stranger things happen. Tumbling, tumbling, keep going. Come keep on. Keep going. Get keep in going. there. Keep going. Get in there. On the green. It's well done. Staying right. Staying right. Well done. I call it the King's Barn. <laughs> it is officially the Aaron's King's Barn. King's Barn shot. Patent pending. <laughs> that was not good. We're going to try this again. obvious that anything other than a full shot with my four iron is not my forte as you can see here in a second as I try to chip from just off the green and send it off the other side of the green For me, we were playing Stableford, so at this point, pick up and move on to the next hole.
is hitting his second shot of the middle of the fairway. I hit my drive in that bunker just to the left of him and managed to get a seven iron up to about pin high. It appears that Aaron thinks this hole is number one. approach from the middle of the fairway. I hit my drive right up here, just short right of this bunker. Pulled my approach left. You can see my ball come in from the right from under a bush, right about there. Got about a 12 footer here on 15 for my third birdie of the day, breaking about two feet left to right. And it drops. Number 16 is the number one handicap hole here at the course, so it is a bonus if you can walk away from this hole with a par. they call this a mental mulligan where you just have to hit another one to prove to yourself that you can hit that shot
17's a tricky little par 3. It has a big green complex, but they usually like to tuck that pin right behind that waist area front right. As you can see, Josh is not very happy with his drive and lets it know that it is indeed number one. This everyone is how you turn a really good drive into a double bogey with two bad pitch shots. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and hit that bell notification button. See you soon. Alright, it's after the round. A little recap. Josh and Kirk won with 51 points, Stableford. And Dennis and I came in second with 50. So they beat us by one point. And I'm going to attribute that to the two wonderfully duffed chips on 18. Cost me a point or two. But, you know, tomorrow's another day. <laughs>